Hello again. I'm here with another haul. Most of these items have been listed on eBay. They're there right now. Some of them in auction style and some in listed now. You can find my link to my eBay store in the description below. And if you're interested in any of these things. Right now I'm going to show you two uh, by the way, I'm Diana, and I buy things and resell them, so if I can. So, <laughs> I'm going to show you these two things, so they're really big and kind of in my way. Look at this. Hoot. These I bought in an auction, bid on at an auction. They are stockings, and this one is white. Guess what? There's another one. And he has a black shirt. So two alien stockings. I think I spent, well, I had the list here a minute ago. I think I spent $10 on these for both of them. And they are now up on eBay, I think, for $15 a piece. So if you want an alien stocking this Christmas, here's your guys. Yeah, you'll see those every day. Okay. We're going to lay those way over there. Don't fall. Okay, now, for this big, 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 I bought these at the same auction, and it was a really large box. And I'm like, I hope I get my money out of it because I spent $20 on all of this. It's a lot. So, I have bagged up the little things that really aren't worth a lot of money. And these things are going to my booth. So, uh, here is a little snow baby in a box. And he's very cute. I think I put, they're not really not worth selling on eBay. <clears throat> I have $8.50 on him. And during the holidays, we have a big sale for 20% off. So, that's quite a, you know, that's why I have to up, up, price them up a little bit. And a lot of these are in baggies, but here's just a, you know, these are kinds of odds and ends. This is a beaded one, but it wasn't really spectacular, so I didn't put it up on eBay. Um, here's another little snow baby I got. He's on the star. It's so darling. I know it's hard to see through this, but I don't want to rip it apart. Um, $8.50 on him, too, but he'll be going to the mall. Another spiky one that wasn't impressive to me. Uh, and so you can see, these are just like plastic, little snowmen. So there's a lot of those kinds of things that were in this box. I'm just trying to show you the volume of things that I got. This is a little um, a trolley car, um, things of that nature. Not worth a ton, but I put... Uh, a lot of these types of things over at my booth the last couple of years, actually. And the first year, they didn't sell very well. The second year, they all sold. So I've got this big bucket full of that type of thing. So I'm going to try to put it down here. Just a second. <laughs> and then I had this leftover from last year that didn't sell. So I'm putting that back over. And I've only got five dollars on this. It's a Lennox beautiful little tree in the box. And then these were a little cuter, so I didn't bag them up together. And I was asking five dollars a piece for these. This one is so adorable. Look at it. There's a snowman, right? And if you turn it this way, there's Santa. It's just a box, a cube, with a little bow on top. I thought that was darling, so I thought that needed to be a little more. Um, and some of these are Hallmark, some of them are not, but that didn't have a name on them. I don't think this one did either, but how cute is this? See the little guys in there singing? And then you can take this, it's, you know, it's like this. You can put one of your Christmas lights, oops, if I move my fingers, through the back and it will 
light up. There's a little tiny lantern in there, street light, uh, in there that will light it all up. I thought that was adorable, so I thought that was worth a little more, too. I believe this is Hallmark. Yes, it is. But I just have $5 on it, too. It's a little bird feeder with uh, actual seeds in it. And it's got a little bird on that side. And then this side is a couple more birds. Very cute. You can also, I believe, you can, yes, you can put a, a Christmas light bulb down into there and light that up also. Then we have this one. There's no name on it. A maker's name. But I thought it was adorable. It's Santa sitting in a book. And it says, It was the night before Christmas. By Dickens. Also has a place for a light bulb to go through. So it will be illuminated. Sweet. Sweet little book. And then the last one. Is this and this is Hallmark I don't know if it works or not but I don't know why it wouldn't you would plug it into your uh, string of lights on your tree and uh, it looks like this it's a radio with a cat listening to the music I don't think it plays music but it would light up all of this the dials and things if you put the this uh, this one actually clips into the socket. So, I thought those were worth a little bit more than, you know, the others. So, I'm not bagging them up all together to sell, to sell together, but separately. I thought those were great. I love going through the Christmas things. I think they're fun. <laughs> See all the different decorations and these are all pre-owned, so someone loved them. Most of them are pre-owned. Maybe not the Lennox Christmas tree. <clears throat> now I'm going to go on. This is several lots of Christmas ornaments. I have them bagged up separately because some of them I'm put together. Some of them I'm trying to sell uh, as singles. So I'm going to have to open up these bags and get them out. I thought these were just beautiful. These are all the um, beaded types with the um, straight pins, sequins, and beads. There, I, I hear they're quite in right now. And here's two of them. Look at all the work in these. Oh my goodness. These are so pretty. I wish I could show them close up to you because there's just so much work with the pins. They would take pins, and in case you didn't know it, maybe you're too young, but back I think in the 70s, maybe late uh, early 80s, something like that, these were very popular kits you could buy. And it has straight pins like you would use for sewing. And you would actually put a sequin on it and a beading and then stick it into a styrofoam ball. And then you would make these beautiful, beautiful ornaments. So these were very close, very similar in color. So I lotted those together on eBay. I think they have these around, well the double ones maybe around $12. <clears throat> Anywhere from... I'm going to say $8.99 to, I think, the most expensive one, which I'm not sure is in, in this group. I think I put it elsewhere because it was really better. I'll go get it in a minute. So here is the next lot. It's very, very pretty. And again... Very similar in color, not exactly, but when you're hanging them on the tree, further apart, it won't matter. Here's this had ribbons and pins go down it, or maybe 
Yes, that every bead has a pin stuck in the center of it. So these are not for children <laughs> to play with. Um, this one also is mirrored on both sides. So you can see how really beautiful they were. These are like satin covered uh, ornaments with the beading on them. So those are two of those. I thought those were great. I love those. All of them are nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, oh, this is a sweet one. Very sweet. Can you imagine someone putting all this work in these things? Yes. Some grandma like me, probably sitting there making these. She was having a ball. Look at this sweet thing. Like a hot air balloon. It's got three little people down here. Very cute. Don't you love it? It's not perfect art. There's a couple of missing bees on this one. But I disclosed that in the listing for it. And uh, if you put it this way, nobody's... Whoops, if you put it... This way, no one even sees it because they're both missing on the same side. So, it's just the cutest thing. I don't have the patience to do this. Do you? Tell me if you like making little intricate crafts. I'm not very crafty. I like painting. Painting things and art in general, but... Sometimes I sew. My sewing machine. <laughs> Up here. Okay. Going on with this. Oops. I hope I don't mess anything up here. Pulling them out of this bag. They seem to be pretty sturdy, actually, but... Okay. And these two... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> these are pretty clever. They have the poinsettias on them. I'm not sure whether there's anything missing off of it or not. They're kind of wild. And don't you love that someone put orange tassels on them? <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this, people. And the, the, the ribbon is coming apart up here, but I disclosed that too. You know, you just overlap it. Put a little touch of glue on there. It's, it'll last. But they're so funky. They're kind of trash, trash-tastic. A little kitschy. A lot kitschy. But people like that sort of thing. So there's two of those guys. And let's move on here. Okay. Well, this one really didn't have a place to go. He didn't look like any of the others. He's an itty bitty one. And whoever spends the most on my on this, on these, on eBay, I'm gonna throw it in the box free. And I even tell them about it. I'm just going to do it. I thought, yeah. <laughs> they earned it. Okay. These were all so similar in color, so I did put them together. The white and the gold. Very lovely. This one also is mirrored on both sides. A lot of light in here, so really gorgeous beadwork. This one having more beadwork than, than this one. A little bit, not much though. Very glitzy. Very glitzy. Very nice. I'll put that back in there. Okay. I put these up separately. I'm not quite sure why I put this one up separately, other than it didn't really have anywhere to go. I could have put it with the other red ones. But I thought it was just really beautiful. It's a pretty good size. And it's mirrored on both sides also. Very lovely. And then this one. This one, I, I think, looks like a Victorian has a Victorian look because of the color of the... This one actually has, like, velvet here. 
You can see that. And that color reminds me of, see it, I'm not sure you can see that color, but it, Victorian days. And the beading on this is just delicious. Delicious. It's really very nice the way they did the beading on this. It's extraordinary. So I've got this one a little more. I think this deserves, you know, a little more. So that's that one. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. This one is a larger one. And it's green and white and a little bit of gold thrown in there. It's got a long tassel on it. Very sweet. A lot of work in them, though, so. Beautiful. So I hope someone uh, wants those and enjoys it. I'll have to go get the other one. Uh, but I'm going to show you this one first because this one's delightful. I even put in my listing title, it was Trash Tastic. And I had it on, I, I put it a little lower because it's what it is. And uh, at nine, or no, 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 $5.99. I put it on auction. Along with these other beautiful ones. And guess what got the bid? Only one bid, but that's, you know, that was fine with me. Here it is. Geometric type shape. And what doesn't say Christmas like? This is actually really pink. 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 Yellow. Now yellow. This blue though. I, don't, I just, the colors in it didn't look real Christmassy to me. But it did to somebody because somebody made this. And the bow was all, you know, kind of mushed. Uh, but, yeah, this one was the winner so far. <laughs> that, was, that was amazing to me. I love it. <laughs> I really do. Okay, here's this bag. These are the oldest. They have, to, this one maybe not, but the other two definitely are older. <clears throat> oh, this one has to be too. By the color of the, this also has, bring that up there, excuse me, um, a velvet type ribbon, and look at the color of this one. I, I think they were going for a pair, probably. It's that shape and perhaps that color. But it's almost orange, if you can see that. Orange. Um, with lots of beading. It's just cute. So that's that one. I believe these, were, maybe, maybe all of them were made <clears throat> approximately the same time. Can't get the little hanger out of the beads. I don't want to pull anything out. The these beads are, I would assume, quite a bit older. They have a flower shape in them. They just look older to me. The whole thing, um, the look of it. I'm, yeah, I. It's got to be 70s, maybe even the 60s, or earlier. It just has that look about it. It's very sweet. I hope someone buys these and just, just adores them. I don't put up much of a tree anymore. Well, last year I did a little bit. but And this one with the little Santa on top of the snow. And this, look at this velvet crinkle on that. That's got to be old. And it's all pinned on. These are much older than the others. And I just thought, I just, gosh, I should have got Penelope up here. Um, it's just cute. It's just fascinating to me. And so those are all of that. So I'm hopefully... 
someone out there will love these and enjoy them. And maybe their children will enjoy them. And uh, I'm going to go get the other larger one that I put up. And then we will get on to a couple other things that I want to share with you today. I don't, this is not a big haul. I might, oh, I do have some other things. Excuse me. I'll be right back. Okay. Hi. I'm back. Whew. A struggle for me, but not for you. Here's the largest one. And I thought this was fantastic. But this one. It's mirrored on both sides. It's really large. And um, has a little velvet on the top. And velvet actually underneath this, these rows of beading right here. I know you can't see that very well, but. And there's also some cording down around the mirror finished off very nicely and on this side there's a itty bitty angel she's sweet i just thought this was great i think i've got this up at 15.99 some of these the larger ones like this we're going for around that or a little higher even i think this is gorgeous just gorgeous so that's a sweet 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 one with all of those pearl like beads on there. It's just wonderful. Okay, I'm going to show you the other things I have up listed. I may have showed these in other videos, but I want to tell you they are up on eBay right now. This is a tree skirt. It's all made of felt. Um, you can see that. It's kind of hard to see. And, um, yes, everything's in there that I, I think it was opened at one point. Everything looks to be there. I didn't see needles, but, you know, needles aren't hard to come by. So, that's up on eBay right now. And I'm not sure what I've got it listed for. And then, I listed this one. It's a Santa. You make him over a, a beach, a beach. Bleach bottle. And he's all yarn and felt. It says you can make this in like about two hours. It says that right there. Me, it would take a little longer. But there's Santa and this. Okay, one other thing. As I'm going through all of this, these Christmas items, I set out what I thought were the, what I call the dregs. They have no place to go. They're not like anything else. They were cute, but really, you know, I was like, well, I'll just put them all in a grab bag together, right? So there was, I thought there was a couple other pieces. Um, there were these, which are really cute. They look sugared. They're cute. And there was, I, I think there was a couple other things, just a little random things. And I'm looking at this stuff going, well, what do I do with this? Well, I'll just put it all in a grab bag. Put it all in there for five bucks. So then I'm looking at this. This was there with it. See this? It's a little tiny bell with two angels. And I'm like, well, what's this? Maybe I better look at this a little better. And I'm looking at it and looking at it. And then I see that it's marked inside. Not just one mark, but two marks. I'm like, what does that little mark say right there? So I got out my magnifying glass. And look, on this you can tell it's an, uh, oh, let's see. Oh, it's upside down. Anima, it's got, yeah, there I said an N, um, M, and it has a date, NM1985, 
That's Neiman Marcus. I found out after I researched it. But this one says Haran. H-E-R-A-N-D. Now when I saw that name, I said to myself, hmm, self, you've heard, <laughs> you've heard this name before. And you know where you've heard it? You know where I've heard it? By watching YouTubers, other YouTubers, finding things. And I'm like, this, this can't be made by that same company. I must be wrong. Because everything I've seen them find was an animal shape that looked kind of like it had uh, um, a stocking, like a, you know, one of those stockings. That had a fishnet, fishnet stocking on it, sort of. That's my rude, or rude, uh, yeah, comment, or description. I need to cut that part out. Anyway, fishnet stocking look. And they're done very well, beautiful. Now China makes some of those animals too, so you have to be really careful. Because they're not as well painted or whatever. So these little porcelain things. Looked it up. Lo and behold, this is the same maker. This little thing right here sold for $80 on eBay not long ago. There's one on Etsy for, I think, $99. It might be vice versa. And one on um, Ruby Lane for around that. So I was going to put this in a $5 bag of stuff. Good thing I looked twice, maybe three times at this. Let's, this one, more than pay. I was worried about getting my money back on that lot. This one more than pay for it right there. Okay, I'm going to move on. I have a few more things to show you. I was hoping to keep this rather short because I know I've been really long with the uh, jewelry. <clears throat> I went to a garage sale. My son and I were just driving along and, oh, there's a yard sale. So we went down to this yard sale. I'm looking around, looking around, and I see something there that I thought, hmm. Now, and I don't have my black light. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Um, here were these salt cellars and they're not all they're I think they're all different all different there are one two three four five six seven there's even a kind of a square one another like this you know they're similar but not the same design okay And they had $5 a piece on them. I know they'll glow. I knew it. I didn't test them there. I knew they would glow. And I um, also saw this. This has an owl on it. It's like a stump. It's a toothpick holder. I knew this would glow too. You can see it. See that look? Once in a while you get fooled by some new things coming out that look like they're going to glow. They've been made that way to fool you. To make you think it's got uranium in the glass and it does not. But most things that look like this and even things that are clear glass will glow at times. So. That's why it's important to have a black light with you when you are out. These, I was sure, were old and would glow. They do. I'll, I'll give you a, get you a picture of that. And I might just put it right here. So, this had um, also $5 on it. Each one of those six had five and this had five. 
And I, there was a gentleman sitting there, and I said, what would you take for all this green glass? And he said, oh, my wife, my wife's got it priced too much. I'll sell it to you for $7.50. There was also a snowman about six inches tall. Now, I didn't think he would glow, and he did not. But I'd never seen him before, and I was thinking, he's got to be something rather special. Not that, because I haven't seen everything, of course, but um, I said, how much for the snowman? Twelve fifty for all of this, the green glass and the Santa. She had $15 on the Santa. I said, are you sure? Yeah, she's got him overpriced. She went to town. Twelve fifty. So I gave him $13 to keep change. Now, I had no idea about that Santa Claus. And I'm going to have to insert a picture because I've sold it already on eBay. And I'm going to try to pop up the picture. I think I figured out how to do that right here. That snowman had a partial tag on the back. And I can barely read it. I could only find one that was just like mine on the internet. I found a couple other that were similar, but it had no red on it. Um, there was only a couple, though. This uh, hardly, yeah, you can buy it. So I found one article on that snowman that claimed. It, it, actually, that one sold for $130, I'm going to say nine, $139, something around that. And it claimed that it was kind of a special thing for dealers who sold X amount of dollars in their showroom. So it was just a special thing. And probably not a lot of them were out there um, because of that. So I listed it for $125. I put it on auction first. It didn't sell. So I went back in and put it, buy it now. And someone offered me $110. And with my investment in that piece, um, I thought I'd let it go for that, and I did. But that was neat. Now, some of these, some of these go for anywhere from $10 to $20, just one. This goes for much more. This one goes for around $40. So that was a really good haul that day. Um, and I was very pleased. Uh, some people think, well, don't you think you're ripping people off? I'm, I'm giving him what he asked for. And I don't feel bad about that. Now, if it were something worth thousands of dollars, and an old person was selling their things off. I would have a hard time with that. And I would try to get that back to them uh, and say, hey, this is worth a lot. I'll try to sell it for you, but I will bring you some of the money. We'll split it or whatever. But I would at least try to get um, some of that money back, to, especially an elderly person. I don't want to rip off any elderly person ever. Um, I've seen that happen before, and it's, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like that activity at all. So, I don't want to rip off anybody, really. But the man was quite adamant that that's what he thought it was worth, so I was like, okay. <laughs> so, I hope you have a great day. Be on the lookout for that Santa. I put the picture in there, hopefully know, I know how. And, uh, hey, if you want anything, go to my eBay Contact me, whatever, and we'll see what we can do. 
Uh, have a great day. Please like and subscribe. I got a, a new one. A new subscriber. A while, and then I was just like thrilled. So anybody who wants to watch this old lady have fun and talk to talk about her stuff. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe I'll teach you a little something. Maybe not. If you you know, you probably know more than I do. Let's shake this lucky die and let's see what it says here. Seize the day. I'm gonna go out and do that. I gotta go pick up an auction haul right now. <laughs> bye bye.